Now, at New Year and on the Queen's official birthday, we often bring you news of people from the North West who've been awarded an honour, a knighthood, or been made a dame, an OBE, or maybe an MBE. Maybe we none dream, coming our we? way, yes. <laughs> Tonight, though, we have news of a different kind of award. Yes, a scientist from Merseyside has been made a Knight of Norway by <laughs> King Harold V. And it's all to do with a grand passion for Vikings, which began at a very early age, as Andy Gill will explain. Imagine the Wirral coastline in the year 902. A bunch of Norwegian Vikings get kicked out of Ireland. The English Queen says they can settle here. More than a thousand years later, a small boy hears that his local football team has a Viking name. I thought that not many people knew about this. It was a heritage that uh, uh, we in Wirral, the northwest, didn't really know. The Viking place names like Tranmere provoked a lifelong fascination for Stephen Harding. When he grew up to be a scientist, he used DNA techniques to prove that Viking genes live on in old Wirral families to a much greater extent than anybody had previously thought. Congratulations. Today, an ancestor of those Vikings came to Liverpool's Nordic church to honour that work. The King of Norway's made Stephen a knight. It's a fantastic honour and uh, I feel a little bit embarrassed really because it represents the, the work of a, a large number of people and I've just been the lucky one. It's fairly unusual and uh, it, it's an exclusive uh, award in that sense. It goes to uh, foreign nationals that have done uh, a great service. Part of the ceremony was a church service in Norwegian. The knighthood is the highest honour the Norwegians can give someone who's not a head of state. Andy Gill, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool. Very well done to him. Uh, 